This has a good uh, collection of photographs. Oh, yeah. This is going back to what, World War II. Lena Horn there. There's Lena Horn there. Yeah. I saw Louis Armstrong in there, too. Yeah, those people used to come through here and visit. Here it is. There. There. Um, here. Like a king, huh? <laughs> That's a young Cortor. This is the strangest thing, though, really, in my life. This thing here. My mother and father used to know this fellow. And for some reason or other, he became a mind reader. It's fortunate. What do you call those people? <laughs> did he ever tell your fortune? Yeah. And what did he say? You're going to be a famous painter one day. <laughs> <laughs> In the last several years, you've gotten an immense amount of recognition and you're donating works to museums. Now you say that, you see, but I don't know that, you see. When I was going down south, I was going down there to paint the Gullah people down there. I caught the bus and uh, I was sitting in the middle of the aisle and it's an older fella, black fella, he's sitting in the complete back against the, the bus back, you see. The bus was empty. He, see, he got up and came and he said, son, you better come back in the back here, you see. This, uh, this, uh, this happened, you see. If you go to the museum, then you, you approach a new painting, just you look at it, you approach it, and what does it give to you? I don't mean a sexual desire or anything like that. The beauty of the female figure, you see. I'm not talking about the Hugh Hefner thing or what it is. The idea is to get someone to pause a while. Because you see how people they walk past pictures, but the idea of a painting is you try to just get them to stay with that painting for a while, you see. You just don't brush past it there. And that's the idea, if you can get someone to catch their eye a little bit, 